Yep. <sighs> if hell is forever, then heaven if must be a lie. If angels knew whatever and remain in the sky. Dude, I just went out and got ice cream. I'm not going to lie, bro. This shit is fire as fuck. Y'all have Bahama Bucks? Yep. Dude, I got the worst brain freeze of my life. It felt like it felt like an atomic bomb went off on my head. Bro, dude, I was tired as shit. This shit sent me to heaven, man. Shit is fire. You gonna continue the game? Uh no, 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 that's tomorrow. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably do some reacts. Mm. Yeah, I wanna do a Kind of want to react to some bullshit. Eventually, and pull win. Uh, I'm not getting them, man. All right, yo, adventuring two creams. Like, oh, no, I mean, I'm just not like, I'm not like gay. You know? So, like, I feel like, I feel like it's insensitive for me to use a gay man, right? Because I'm, like, appropriating their culture. You know? <clears throat> yeah, I feel like it's just not right for me to do. Is being gay bad? No, being gay is great. I, dude, I wish I could be gay. Then I wouldn't have to deal with women. But unfortunately, I'm a fucking lame-ass straighty. I've been cursed. Dude, life would be so much easier. Like, do you know, dude, I would fuck all of my friends. A million percent. I would be sucking anybody's dick that asked me. Well, I'm like, okay, yeah, sure, man. I wish I was gay. I wish. I wish. Dude, being straight is so difficult because then I can't fuck my homies. You know what I mean? Like, bro, that shit would make life easier. Why the fuck would why do you think? Also, uh, I got sent a link to Tao's, uh, wait, what is this? I got to, uh... <laughs> I got sent a link earlier about the uh, Tao's community post. What the fuck, bro? Bro. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Bro. Bro, dude, bro is talking to himself. Bro, this is the shit that Too Mad was doing before he fucking killed himself. What the fuck is wrong with bro, man? Holy shit. Bro is off the deep end. Bro is going on a path of destruction. Only problem is he's not an anime character, so he just looks like a retard. Uh -uh. Anyways... Uh, people liking their own comment. Oh yeah, absolutely. You're up early, bro. It's fucking 9 PM. Yo, how was the stream earlier for cyberpunk? Bro, I peeped the VOD earlier or the, uh, the analytics earlier. I was curious. Dude, we had so many fucking people over there for cyberpunk. And to be honest, the whole stream, like, I mean, I mean, God, look at this shit, man. Fucking fucking had like seven K grinding out MOC. Fucking kept around, yeah, like 4K, like 4K throughout the whole stream, bro. Look at that. That was awesome. I can't believe that shit. And no bots. Betty cool, Betty epic, no bots. Very cool. I mean, that shit fucking dope, man. I'll be there for a part. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I just want to say I appreciate you guys for chilling with me while I do variety. Hey, right, yo, what up, Shinya? Yo, I'll, this stream's not going to be long, Shinya, so we can, we can chill in a second. I just got some, uh, I got some shit I need to wrap up. Uh, cause I want to get some videos out, um, before I go live tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to get that shit. I just wanted to get that shit out there real quick. You live this time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to working on my paper. Yeah, but you all can put me on the side monitor. But yeah, was, was it good? I feel like, dude, the fucking knife throw shit. 
the knife throw and the fucking katana and the corpo, like everything is puff fucking perfect, bro. What's this? What you the? like that? No, ow, ow, what the fuck? Ow! Yeah, wrong hole. All right, yo, uh, uh, uh. all right. Anyways, uh, when's the family barbecue? Oh, dude, also, you know what was dope? Uh, how do I not get banned? I literally showed dick, balls, vagina, titties on stream today. I don't even care. Like, we're actually, we're actually just fucking, we're actually fucking yunking. Yo, Jane, thank you for 300 bits, man. Appreciate you. Thank you, brother man. Allow because of the cyberpunk? Yeah, no, I just, I'm just unbannable, bro. It's actually nuts. It's not TOS on cyberpunk? Oh, here we go, Valen. Let me know how it's not because I'm just the main fucking character, bro. Here we go. Buzz kill Valen. Now play Orc Massage. I will boot up Orc Massage. Y'all think I won't. Y'all think I won't. Y'all think I won't. Y'all think I won't boot up Orc Massage right now. Y'all think I won't boot it up right now. I got banned from your Discord for asking about anime. Talk about racist for fuck's sakes. Uh, you know what? I have a feeling that that's not the full context. I don't know why, man. I just, I have a feeling that that is not the full context. <laughs> I have, I have a, I have a gut feeling. Uh, yeah, I want to fuck that harpy chick. All right, let me go ahead and boot it up. Fuck, yo, load. Alright, where we at? Okay, here we go. Bum, 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 bum. I need probably need a train, right? Uh, what do we need to do? Uh, I have I have no fucking money. Oh my god. Uh, let me pull it out. Bum, 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 bum. Right, let's grind it, baby. Alright, here we go. No. Uh, yeah, okay. Bop, bop, uh, yep, 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 yep. One, two, three, four. No, 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 yes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, 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 uh. Yep, yep, yes. Sir, yep, uh, 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yeah, 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 yes, sir, crushed it, perfect fucking score, uh, yeah, I'm live, why? What are you gonna show me? Okay, yeah. Cool. Is that Eggy? Oh, uh, what'd you do to him? Yeah. Yeah, I'm playing Orc Massage. You play Orc Massage? You, what? You gave my dad a massage? What is that even? Okay. Alright, uh, maybe I... Strength of the strength of orc effects during the duration of massage. What does that mean, orc effects? You're a loose. Uh, strength effects of the speed of the massage. Yeah, that's probably good. All right, cool. Good. Good, 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 good. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, who we, who we, who we rubbing up, boys? Who we rubbing up? You're a loser, baby, a loser. It's okay to be a loser. All right, let's uh, let's call my girl Ava. Hey, what's up, baby girl? All right, neck hurting. Yeah, come on in. Come on in. Uh, uh. yo. Bro, she's so fine. 
Okay, I don't want to get banned. I don't want to get banned that bad. You know, I mean, if I keep playing, it's just an intentional ban at that point. You know, I mean, I won't even have plausible deniability. Okay, I'm going to press the next button. It's just over, bro. It's just legit over. As one man said, you can't be banned. Okay, I want to make it very clear. It was not a wise man. It was as a horrible man said, I cannot be banned. This guy would actually be one of the dumbest motherfuckers on earth. All right, uh, another insane H game. Don't show on stream. Is there any game as hot as Orc Massage? Because, like, I'm legit. I'm looking for as many porn games as possible because I want to make a series. Yes, there's games as hot as... There's games as hot as Orc Massage. Okay, uh, Monster Girl Island. Like, the art style of... The art style of Orc Massage is so peak. Like, genuinely, it's so fucking peak. Uh, Waifu Fighters? Yeah, Waifu Fighters is dope as fuck. But, like, dude, like, the throat fuck animation for Orc Massage is one of the hottest things I've ever seen. Uh, is there is there any other game? Orc Massage that go? Oh, yeah, dude, it looks so good. Honey Pop? Uh, Honey Pop looks like... Wait, I know that shark girl from Monster Girl Island. I know her. I've seen this one before. Okay, maybe I'll download this one. Uh, real quick, I started stream out of nowhere like an idiot. Uh, uh, yeah, I started stream. Uh, I was not ready to start stream. Hold up. Hold up. I fucked 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 up. Hello, everyone. This I is your up. I fucked up. I gotta go to bathroom. 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 I'll be right back. Give me a second. This is what a Bugatti sounds like going at speeds of over 250 miles per hour. You can tell this dog has definitely had enough of this baby. Find yourself some friends that can hype you up like this. Mikey? What are you doing? Nothing? I don't think it's nothing. I think you're trying to get into the cat drawer. Here's an octopus that, for some reason, really enjoys crawling out on land. In case you didn't know, touchscreens in cars isn't exactly a new idea. Buick was the first car company to put touchscreens in cars, going all the way back to 1986. So right now we're in the uh, climate mode, and this is your single zone automatic climate control. You can adjust the temperature, it shows outside temperature display. You have various uh, panel distribution controls, you have your fan speed for low, high, and auto. You can also set favorite memory settings. So he's scared of tie-dye, but you know what he's not scared of? Loves fruit by the foot. He wants a fruit by the foot! This is called cloud seeding, and it's something that pretty much every country carries out. Planes will fly through clouds and release sodium chloride, which is just salt, into the clouds in an attempt to make it rain. According to the UAE, cloud seeding can increase rainfall from a cloud by up to 35%. Hygroscopic particles, salt particles. And so by that, you can start forming ice crystals at minus 5 to minus 10 degrees Celsius in the clouds. They grow faster, grow bigger, and thus can start producing precipitation. About 400 years ago, this church was built on the side of this mountain in Italy. Here's a safety device some skateboarders use to practice new tricks.
Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This is an anhydro agate, which is basically just a rock that has water that's been trapped inside for millions of years. This cat just got a brand new automatic litter box. <laughs> this person explains what phrases auctioneers are saying when waiting for someone to place a bid. I'll give you a couple examples. Dollar bidder down, one dollar bidder down, two dollar bidder down, two dollar bidder down, three dollar bidder down, four dollar bidder down, five dollar bidder down, dollar bidder down, dollar now, one dollar down, two dollar down, two dollar down, three dollar down, three dollar down, four dollar down, four dollar down, five. This person put a camera inside of a car tire to see what it looks like when driving. This. Are you kidding me? There are parts in the world where minefields cover the land. The wars might be over, but the landmines still remain. To help detonate these mines, this person designed this object that can freely move around using the wind. When it rolls over an antipersonal landmine, it's heavy enough to detonate the explosive. With each detonation, the microphone loses just one or two legs. Therefore, it could potentially destroy three to four landmines in one journey. This person was walking around when they discovered this strange type of slime mold on the ground. This cat does not like wearing this life vest. <laughs> Scientists discovered this strange underwater sponge forest in the Pacific Ocean. That's the end of this video. Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. Here's a cat that has really, really small eyes. This person took a regular piece of paper and folded over and over until it became a fun little spring toy. This person was cleaning and moved her cat's treehouse out of the way, and the cat had no idea it was gone. This raccoon is trying to grab the raindrops that are falling out of the sky. This person found a crab that became fossilized into this rock over the span of millions of years. It's 
quite damaged on top. The bottom should be in pretty good neck. But those claws are enormous. <laughs> I like this one. This is called a thresher shark. These sharks have a really long tail, which they use like a whip to stun fish and make them easier to catch. This is a flatfish which spends most of its time lying flat on the ocean floor. As the fish grows, one eyeball will move to the other side of the head and stay that way for the rest of its life. I was driving on the road when I had to pull over and record this amazing sunset with my phone. Here's a video of my mom standing in front of the tallest flagpole in the United States. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. Here's a turtle that looks like this. There's this baby bird that transforms itself into a caterpillar when mom isn't around. Quinn, I wanted to show you a video I made of you. Check this out. These astronauts were playing with some water on the International Space Station. All right, cool. Sorry about that. I had to take a shit. That came out of fucking nowhere, man. Uh, yeah, let me just uh, turn that shit off. Let me, uh, uh, yeah, sorry about that. All right. Uh, forgot this was a second stream. Yeah, 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 sorry. Sorry. Just had to fucking, that massive shit came out of nowhere, bro. Enormous shit. Enormous. Check DMs. Okay. Um. What is this? You're a loser, baby, a loser, goddamn baby. You're a fucked up little whiny bitch. Hey. You're a loser just like me. Thanks, asshole. You're a screws loser. Oh, little Eggy. Oh, Eggy. He looks like such a gentleman. It's the cutest little baby I've ever seen in my whole life. You're Oh, Eggie. Oh, Eggie. What a little baby. Oh, <laughs> oh the cute little baby. Oh, Beppo. Oh, Fizzy. Oh, Bongo looks so grumpy. All right, cool. I got a video I got to react to right now. You're a loser. Actually, bro, I haven't browsed TikTok today. Hold up, bro, why the fuck is there so much Miz on my fucking timeline, bro? Wait, move around. Dude, get that shit the fuck out of here. Broken or pure evil? He's broken. Yeah. Pure evil. What a cringe list. Your month, your life. Boy, is alcohol. I don't feel like fucking watching that shit. What the fuck? Holy shit, bro is cooked. Bro is malfunctioning. Jesus Christ.
right, bro. Let him. Let, he's sleepy, man. He's apey. Don't care. Um, excuse me? What's yeah. your favorite flavor here? <laughs> oh, uh, okay, you got me, man. You're lucky I'm tired, otherwise that shit would not have been funny. You're lucky, bro. Holy shit, bro. Bro, okay. Reset the servers, bro's locked out. Bro's model's glitching. Sin, Sin City was a maybe. Yo! What the Sin fuck, City. Roman Reigns? Breathe, yes. Recite the Bible in Japanese, is no. What the? What? But wait, are we going to my boy? Is that alcohol? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck did I do to be cursed with that nasty ass shit on my fucking for you, bro? What the fuck? You said there's no Indian muggers in Goon City. Watch this. Hey, a buttercup. I got to sniff your. Okay. Yeah, I don't care, bro. You know what? Uh, okay. All right. Dude, I don't know, man. I really don't know. I, I don't know whether I'm pulling for adventure or not. I don't know. I mean, I, I will only know when I go live tomorrow at twitch.tv forward slash tech down. You know, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, I know I'm giving away adventuring tomorrow when I go live at twitch.tv forward slash tech down. You know, for all of you who subscribe to my YouTube channel, of course. Of course, as I do. Like, I don't know if I'm pulling for him. I have no idea. That's honestly up for my chat to decide, to be honest, at twitch.tv forward slash tech down, which you can follow in the pinned comment or the description. Today's video is sponsored by twitch.tv forward slash tech down. You can follow. <laughs> okay. You know, I, I will admit, I put a lot of faith in the gotcha smack. I feel like, and I'm going to go on record saying this, I feel like he's one of the most reliable, if not the most reliable, at all of the information he's given from day one to day now. Genuinely. Genuinely. I believe that. I feel like his guys are always spot the fuck on. You know? I am very curious what he thinks about Adventuring's real value. And why I should skip or pull. Now, my opinion is, I already have a Luocha, who I think is very good. I already have a Fushuan, who I think is very good. I think Adventuring's cool. But I don't think I'll need to pull her. But I guess let's find out. By yours truly. As promised, I wanted to... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video by yours truly. Yo. As promised, I wanted to talk to you all about who I think Aventurine is for, who should be pulling for him, who should yeah. be skipping him. Yeah. I want to talk to you about where his best value lies, yeah. uh, where he excels at, and then I want to talk to you about where he is pump faking a number of people, I'm sure, people who have surface level comprehensions of the game and how things huh. operate. Uh, in my I'm last video, I ran a pretty damn objective analysis on him. And as usual, you have the uh, the fandom who are absolute simps and cucks who just cannot uh, take out their bias and Absolutely. listen to people giving fair scrutiny of the character. He definitely is not perfect. He does have Which some people flaws toxic. that will show themselves and become apparent in certain scenarios. Absolutely. And yeah, I, I address those things and you got these people saying that I have an L take. I don't know what I'm talking about. I didn't cook with this one. I'm misunderstanding. I'm not misunderstanding. I'm right. You're wrong. As usual, Gotcha yep. Smack has 1,035 wins. Yep. And these uh, self-proclaimed TCs and nerds who don't know what the f they're talking about still have yet to take any Ws. They don't yeah, take Ws. They only take Ls. I There's agree. a reason you're watching me and I'm not watching you. True. And my audience doesn't even know who the fuck you are. True. Oh, so with that said, let's go ahead and go over everything I have prepared for you in this video. I have three different tier lists for yep. uh, Aventurine. And I feel this is going to pay. Well, because the thing is, is the reason why people discredit theory crafters on public sites is because they want to think that if they discredit them, that they'll put themselves on a pedestal, and that because th this guy is discrediting the theory crafter, that to other people might translate to, if this guy's saying this guy is shit, that's because this guy must be smart, and they try to listen to them instead. That's kind of why they do that. That's why nobody builds themselves up. They try to take people down to raise themselves higher. It's a very horrible concept. Paint the picture explicitly clear to the message that I'm trying to convey to you with regards to his value. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay. So the first tier list, I put together all the sustainers in the game for the most part, and I and This I looks them. correct. As much as I love Luocha, 
He just does not have the same value as Fu Xuan. Well, well, I have no idea. And in order to show you who has the best value in terms of purely sustain, keeping your team alive. I would put, I would put Bailu you know where I think and Natasha Zimzer. belongs? Right here. I think he's better than Fu Xuan. I think he's better than Scooby-Doo. I think he will be the new best sustainer in the game. In fact, oh! if you go back on my channel, you will find a video really? where I said new meta sustainer. What I mean by that is Why he's going to be the that? most effective at sustaining and keeping your team alive. That is just how good he is with his shield. Now, my if problem is, is that doesn't he take a fuck ton of skill points? Maybe we'll get into that later. Because my, my thing is, I know I will never be able to die with him, but I thought he uses a fuck ton of skill points. Am I nuts? Here, and you just started playing this game. Let's find out. I think he is an absolute must pull. Because right now, as things stand, you need a sustainer. Mm -hmm. What better uh, a value to add to your account yep. than to grab the Absolutely. best sustainer in the entirety of the game? This game is miserable until you, you have two main DPS and two that's main sustainers. who's going to be good for you. Supports, there's tons of them. If you're lucky enough, Halo, you can still Asta, claim the free Dr. have in the mail. Free five-star character who is actually a S-tier DPS. And Dr. Ratio is best in slot with Aventurine as well as Topaz. So he oh, is yeah. free-to-play value is actually insanely high light cone wise japard's light cone is going to be one of the best light cones in the game to use with them now you do need a little bit of luck to get it or you can buy it from the shop but if you don't have japard's light yeah. cone um londao's choice a gotcha light cone is also going to be good because it's going to increase his taunt value it's a good ass increasing one. taunt value ensures that he gets hit more when he gets hit he provides two stacks to himself which increases his follow-up attack synergy not only does it do I believe preservation units also have already innate um, aggro, increased aggro. This though, most importantly, it batteries him so that he can pop his ultimate. Why is his ultimate important? Because his ultimate is going to trigger more follow-ups, which are going to give you more shields to your team, and he's also going to inflict the debuff, which is very important for Doctor Ratio to guarantee his follow-up attack trigger. Inflicting a debuff is also important for people like Acheron. Acheron. The more you get his ult up, the more beneficial this is going to be. Dude, I just learned about trying to a universal market on Fushuan. That shit changed my life. The other thing about Aventurine is he does do a little bit of damage. And if you ult more, that's more damage. I wonder how much that's a little bit very is. very important for Aventurine. Why? Because he's not a buffer like Scooby-Doo. He doesn't yeah. provide 10% crit chance like Fushuan. So him and his role needs to be made explicit. He's there to uh, sustain and he's, at, he's yeah. also there to deal a little bit of damage. Yep. So you need to be ulting with him so that his ult can deal the damage and his follow-up attack can trigger and deal more damage as well. That's actually yep. the other reason why I'm emphasizing the importance of the ult. The, the ult's going to contribute to his overall DPS that he's supposed to be able to do from a sustainer role. And if you ain't ulting, bro's damage, you might as well just make him a full-blown sustainer because his damage ain't nothing to brag home about. Okay. Unless. Okay. Dude, I've been hearing people saying his damage was insane. Like, I was hearing people saying that he was out damaging Zila while sustaining, and I'm like, there's just no fucking way, which is why I wait till closer and closer until this release. Because some motherfuckers just be lying, bro. You're actually doing some consistent ulting to trigger additional follow-up attack and breaking shields and so on and so forth. His, and that's the other thing that's important. His shield breaking from his ult is massive too, single target wise. Now, the other thing that people are going to bring up is, is uh, he gives a 15% damage increase. I have people already going on the internet Saying that the 15% crit damage increase is not a regular crit damage increase. I don't know this for sure, so I'm damn sure not about to talk out my ass. I'm pretty confident they're talking out their ass. When he comes out, we will yeah. readdress that and make yeah. sure I do know the math so I can figure that out like that. But sure. I need to test him first. It uh, I'm assuming Gotcha Smack's not in the creator server. So he probably doesn't have access to this, which is also incredibly annoying. Because he's like the best theory crafter. Shit actually irritates the fuck out. Anyways, me. light comb wise, not getting off topic. There's all kind of options. Bro has so many free to play options. Not even funny. The free to play light cone that just came with Pina Coney is really good for him. Uh, the battle pass light cone that increases your damage based off of how much defense you have is also really good for him. There's a ton of options. I mean, like almost every single light cone is good for him, which is why his signature light cone is also a pump fake. We'll get to that in a bit. It will make perfect sense why I said that shit is a pump fake. Uh, but overall, for free to play players, he's a good option if you don't have Scooby-Doo and Fushuan already. Now I wanna get into the negative. The negative part about a sustainer 
is that it doesn't matter if a Venturine is an S plus tier sustainer and the best sustainer in the game if you already have these two. I, I don't agree. need another sustainer it's when I already increase. have two S plus tier sustainers that actually outperform him on a number of compositions. Uh, Scooby Doo right here, wah wah. She's outperforming him on a number of compositions. Jobs. The only uh, composition where he's gonna truly shine is with Topaz and Dr. Ratio. And honestly, debatably, Scooby Doo might even be better for Dr. Ratio than he than he is. The beautiful thing about him and Topaz is that he actually will make Numby go more times in a single cycle thanks to his follow-ups advancing forward Numby. But for Dr. Ratio, I'll keep it a buck. The energy recharge, the 40% attack boost. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, man. That sounds kind of ass. Real talk. I mean, if that's a comp that you use, great. Me personally, I love my dot teams. I'm hoping to God there's someone who comes out that does hua hua better than hua hua. Because I don't want to use her ass at all, bro. She's such a bitch, and I don't need a bitch on my team. Like, I don't, I don't, is that my job to take care of this fucking coward, bro? I just don't care. You know, then why haven't you pulled hua hua? Because I just said she's a bitch! Like, bro, are you deaf? I'm hoping she gets power creep like crazy. That and then the debuff going into battle with her fear. That is debatably. It, honestly, no, I, I'm thinking it's actually better than Aventurine. Yeah, it is. It is. I'll be honest with you. It's he's in front. But Aventurine's a good synergy for free to play casual and comfort level players. This is why I said he's S plus tier because we take out okay. all the other stuff and just, just keep team alive. That's his value. Yeah. He's comfort. He's comfortable. Very. He's like the, the Lorcha, but the preservation version. And that is something I want to make sure is understood clearly. That's why I Absolutely. think he's fantastic. Plus, he's the shield person now. He power crept the hell out of Japart. So who knows when that shield aspect yeah, I feel is going to to play down the line. Because they're just so shit. Preservation I, I, I genuinely feel that every five star on the standard selector should be like balanced to where they're all the same power level. Because, like, Bailu was done so dirty. You know? I mean, I already feel bad for Geppert at A tier, but, like, like Bailu, like, what the fuck happened, man? Like, I really feel like there shouldn't be an option where if you roll it on the standard banner and you get it, you're disappointed. It's just so frustrating. Half simulated universe. I feel this is also something that people often sleep on, like Golden Gears, Swarm Disaster, and then uh, yeah. regular simulated universe. Preservation yeah. Path is probably going to be very meta in that mode and his shield is going to be so strong that it's going to be doing absurd amounts of damage in com in conjunction with the elation path as a follow-up attack synergy yeah so all of that's worth considering let's move on to the second tier list venturine's tier list this okay. is what i think all of his fuck? value is going to come for and then of course when future units come Why down the line that also have follow-up attacks that trigger consistently most importantly if they don't trigger consistently is it venturine good with acro Topaz and Dr. Ratio is the biggest selling point for Aventurine. Traditional follow up attacks, units, yeah. They're good. Here, Fiction Herta with uh, Aventurine seems like it's going to be a monster is combo. I think that's going to be very good because she just keeps spinning, triggering, battering him up to trigger his follow up attack, getting rid of trash mobs. I can see some potential there. But these two are the biggest incentive, especially Topaz and Himiko. Fuck, I One want Topaz so bad. Spot teams is going to be Topaz, Himiko, Aventurine with a Ron May. Ron May is going to give a 70% damage bonus to all three of them, all type res pin to all three of them. If you have her E1, ignore defense. <laughs> that sounds to like all so much them. fun. Furthermore, holy he can shit. A defensive boot. And if you have DDD on your Damn, man, that sounds he'll fun. Go twice. So he'll meet the defensive threshold. Ron May will take care of all his weaknesses. Bro has no damage bonus in his kit virtually. Almost none, except like a couple of little percentages in his trace. His, his weakness is not having any damage percent bonus. So having Ron May is going to be a reliant thing for adventuring. He relies on Ron May. Surprise, surprise. Another person that needs Ron May. Yep. If you want to deal any damage yeah, with him, it, it, trust it is. me, you're going to need a guy. It is very frustrating how the state of units in this game are kind of just like, if you don't have Bronya, then Jing Liu is going to feel miserable. Like, if you don't have Sparkle, Bronya, Jing Liu is going to feel miserable. If you don't have Bronya, Zila, uh, if you don't have Bronya, Sparkle, Zila is going to feel fucking miserable. Uh, I, I guess it's kind of balanced because if a character didn't need that shit, then goddamn. But, like, I don't know. Even with, like, Acheron, like, the whole idea that, like, oh, she's so good because she doesn't need to use a Sparkle. She can use two Nihility, but the problem is there's not, like, a Nihility, like, good enough. You know, so I'm still using Sparkle because, like, I can't justify using a third Nihility over uh, Sparkle. 
So like, I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, Pale is good. You know, I, I, I could go like, I could go like Acheron, Welt, Pela, but like, I'd rather just go Acheron, Welt, uh, uh, Sparkle. You know what I'm saying? Silverwolf? Uh, yeah, but I'm not pulling for that. You know, I'm really just not pulling for that. Just go get E2 Acheron right now. Why would I need E2 Acheron? Why would I, why would I want to ruin my account by intentionally getting a incredibly overpowered unit? And take all of the gameplay out of my game. Like, you know what they need? They need to introduce a character that's Nihility that power creeps Pela. You know what I'm saying? Like, give Pela to the poors. P for poor Pela. Right? And then give us the new, like, Nihility fucking defense shredder. You know what I'm saying? Zhao Kui? What the fuck does that mean? What does that, what does that mean in Chinese? I got no idea what the fuck that means. Uh, but yeah, they need to do somebody fucking busted. That way I can use a five-star shredder. I'll get this fucking poor-ass paler the fuck off my team, and she can go back to the bar so she can be an alcoholic in peace. Goddamn Ron May. And even then, it's going to be spectacularly mid. That said, if you don't have any of these characters, or if you don't play any of these characters, yeah. his value becomes so fucking mid, it's not yeah. even funny. You yeah. might as well go back to this scenario here. If you're not a newer player... And you already have these sustains. Yeah. Bro's not bringing nothing new to the table. Bro yeah. brings absolutely nothing to the table. He's cool. not going to change your account. It's not going to be groundbreaking. He's not breaking the meta. He does nothing outside of these comps. And even with these comps, if you take Aventurine out of the picture you and you have these two, you're good. That's the reality of sustain yep. units. You don't need another sustainer. I don't care if bro does this in terms of sustainer and my my current sustainers do this. This is the difficulty. Yep. This is bro and this uh, on sustain level. And this is what I got currently have. Absolutely. Why the hell do I need him? Right? I yeah. Uh, I have a lot of opinions on this. Um, un uh, you got to understand. <sighs> Unless the character you really fuck with aesthetically lore wise or their gameplay looks like a lot of fun it really doesn't matter it really doesn't because when all you got to do is fill up this water bottle with liquid you know what i'm saying and it's already full you only need this much water left in there i don't gotta pour all of this into that because it's like already full i don't really need to do that and then, yeah i can fill it up a little bit more but i can still drink it you know it still does it let's see look mm yummy and i can fill it up a little bit more but like the job's already done so for adventuring it's like yeah if you have a hua hua if you have a luocha if you have a fu shuan like you're already good to go so like if you're a free-to-play player beginner player, yeah pull the fucking unit but at the end of the day uh, this shit's gonna start coming down to your preference very quickly and and it's a lot sooner than you think if you've already played the game for three four months and you've completed all the quests you should already have a pretty well-developed account. You should. And I know this because I've been free to play since day one. Uh, and I have everything that I possibly want. With a little bit of patience, you can get a juiced out account in like four or five months, right? So just have patience. And uh, just when you also choosing your sustainer, just make sure you really like them because you are going to really be stuck with them for a long fucking time. I've been using Luocha for like almost a year now, guys. I don't. Now that said... I think comfort does play a role. Comfort plays a massive role. Case in point, if you're using Lynx as a sustainer and you get a Lorcha, that is a game changer, yep. right? The comfort and the survivability that Lorcha is going to be providing to you and the feel of it, you're going to feel that shit instantly. Yep, immediately. That's good. He's not providing that level of comfort when you have a Fushuan and a Scooby-Doo or even a Lorcha. People are shitting on Lorcha just because now you got people who are doing better than him at his job. Bro still does his job so well that it doesn't matter how good Aventurine is. If you have a Lorcha... Dude, I'll be real. Over the past year of me using Luocha, I've maybe used a skill point on him five times. Because he does his job so well, you never have to think. He's completely autoplay friendly. He just... Pokes him, puts down his field, auto heal, auto heal, auto heal, alt. The alt don't even fucking do nothing besides bring your passive up again. Straight up. Like, it, it kind of does, but you don't really use it for the strip anymore. Maybe you did it a couple years ago, but there ain't really nothing to strip lately. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of just like, eh, 
The Dead Return! Heal, heal, heal. He's so good, you never have to think he's completely brain dead, and he turns a team into a three-person team that you never have to worry about the fourth character. There is no way to misplay his Luocha. That's why he's so fucking good. He will get the fucking job done, he I will. assure you. And he'll get that shit done and well. And that is something that is a sustained problem. Absolutely. So, it comes down to how much... I would like to try Gallagher, but I don't know how good he is. How much of a comfort do you really want to have in comparison to the sustainers that you already I don't know why Luoja gets uh, trashed on so much as mid, but he is incredibly boring. Um, no, he's not. He's cool as fuck. It's so nice when somebody takes a big hit, and then without, with your hands off the keyboard, you're not even, you're in another room. Luoja, receive divinity. Boom. Back to full. They're cleansed. Auto, passive, Kafka, fucking uh, standstill. Brrr, heal. It's so good, bro. Like the autoplay is so good. Do you have me personally? If you don't have I these love three right here, I think I don't you ever want to absolutely them. need them. But if you do, bro's a side grade at best or a mini little boost in terms of comfort. Most importantly, the final tier list, which is actually very important. The biggest incentive of adventuring that's going around the community and you got all these uh, cucks and nerds gassing him up is yeah. that he also can deal damage from a sustained role. Yep. I want you to look at this DPS tier list that I made. I didn't put everybody out there. I just put enough there to paint a picture. Yep. Okay? That's Acheron in a tier of her own doing Good. a million damage effortlessly. There's Jing Liu in, a, in, a, in Biber Lunae. There's Dr. Ratio in a plethora of S tier DPS who all pretty yep. much do around the same damage level depending on investment, yada, yada, yada. There's the A tier. There's the B tier. Yep. There's a Venturine. Absolutely, In fact, I agree. He's a little bit. He he does more. Now I want to. I want to be clear here. He does more damage than Fushuan. He absolutely. Fushuan does fucking nothing. Straight up, and my Fushuan is insane. Like Fushuan does fucking nothing. Absolutely does, but it doesn't bump him up a tier to where he's doing Dan Hun damage. And let me tell you something. If you get his signature light cone, do you know what that's going to do? Keep his ass right there in the C tier of damage. It doesn't take his damage and bump him up here or bump him up here or bump him up here. Bro is still down here on Middington Street. That's exactly and precisely why I said 40% crit damage, 40% defense doesn't fucking matter. Because if it's not taking my boy up here or just here, actually, if it's not taking my boy here. Yeah. It doesn't matter, bro. True. Because guess what? The reality of it. Why are we expecting the same characters to do damage? Oh, because they're stupid. Yeah, because they're dumb. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and Hoyo cucks like to shill that every character is a must pull, so that way their their daddy Hoyo verse can get more milk, and maybe one day they'll come on their fucking mouth or some shit, bro. Like, there's so many shills that just straight up lie about units to try and make the company more fucking money because they're desperate and sad. If it is, if you want that fourth slot to give you such a big damage boost, you can just grab where the fuck is she at? You can just grab this bitch here and make her the sustainer. Or yep. you can just grab where's the other bitch at? You can grab her and make her the sustainer. Yep. They will infinitely provide more value from a damage dealing perspective than this man ever could. And that is the reality of adventuring. They're sitting here trying to convince you that bro is dealing damage from a sustained role, but they're not telling you the damage he's actually doing. It, it's yeah. actually incredibly mid. You will see that shit very soon. Trust. Don't let these wells gas you up. Don't let these nerds gas you up. Bro and I bet you all of the showcases have been E6 adventurings with like S5 light cones. 1 million percent. Bro's damage is mid, and that's the truth. So getting the signature light cone to continue to do mid damage from a sustained roll is kind of pointless. If you're gonna pull on a Venturine, use him for the simulated universe, and you use him for comfort. That's pretty much where the problems reside. Now, quick recap. Is he a fantastic sustainer? Yeah. Yes. Did you pick him up if you're a new player? Yeah. Yeah, you probably should. But is bro the hype that these motherfuckers is trying to sell no. you? Absolutely not. And you know what? That is the reality of a lot of sustainers. You know why Scooby-Doo had low sales, even though she is the best sustainer in the game for sure? Don't care. Her character sucks. From a meta standpoint, because nobody cares about a sustainer. All right. If they ain't, if they ain't utterly broken from a sustainer role and you already have your account built up, who yeah. gives a flying fuck about another sustainer? Yep. That said, I'm picking my boy up. And let me explain to you precisely why I am picking him up. 
I have Topaz. I love Topaz. His synergy with Topaz is crazy. Is it meta? No, but it's such a good level of comfort and feel good synergy that I need him. I'm picking him up on my free to play account. And of course I'm picking him up on this account. I also want to put my money where my mouth is and show you everything I do. I think I'm skipping. In his entirety, I think I'm skipping. 100%. I don't think I need him on my account just because I like him. I don't think that I need to. I've already had, you know, I'll be real. In that fucking story, I've already played his ass. I've already played his ass enough. I straight up don't think I need to do that shit, Loki. That is the difference between me and these fucking nerds. I like to show you everything that I'm saying before and after I say it. So... Keep that in mind. That's my thoughts. If you are a veteran, a day one player, uh, and somebody who has been around here for a while, Aventurine yeah. is not a must pull in any way, shape, or form. In fact, yeah. he's one of the easiest skips I've seen in some time. Absolutely. Now, if you want him because you have a follow up attack count account, cool, do it. He is going to provide some value there from a sustained level, but it's not going to be anything groundbreaking. Free to play players, new players, he's a strong pull, very strong pull, and you won't regret it. Uh, and he will be account changing thanks to you not having any sustainers. You will feel that shit. That's it. Peace, love, and happiness. Catch you on the floor. Yeah, I agree with this video 100%. Pull with you on him. If you already have sustainers, you're good to go. You don't need them. Uh, and I like that mentality. And I feel like here's the other thing that needs to be said. You also don't need anything in this game. Uh, you don't need to spend a single dime because it's a video game. If you can't clear shit, it honestly doesn't matter. Just wait and you will clear everything with patience. Do not fuck your life over because you spent money on a gacha game. It doesn't matter. It's never mattered. Only play this game if you enjoy it and do not put yourself in financial turmoil uh, because you think, oh, well, I can beat Memory of Chaos. Beating Memory of Chaos doesn't pay your rent at the end of the month, okay? Spend wisely. Great fucking video, Smack. Go check them out, boys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, <clears throat> new trailer for who? New HSR video? What is it? A moment among the stars? Non-zero sum game? Your humble servant, Aventurine, at your disposal. Just a cog in the machine known as the Strategic Investment Department. I can also play the role of friend. Use me as you wish. Even stab me in the back if you see fit. I don't make deals that don't pay off. So I hope you don't disappoint me. Wow, that sucks. That was like two seconds. Uh, yeah, no, but I am wondering this. Who is, who is adventuring good with in the future? You know what I'm saying? The VA knows about his theme song? Uh, you sent me a Discord link, bro. Why the fuck you sent me a Discord link? Like, what do you what do you think I can do with that, bro? Acheron Jade follow up characters. I mean, maybe I could get an adventuring. Oh fuck. Jade? Wait, are you saying Jade is going to be a character? Are you sure? Erudition follow-up? How the fuck do you know this? And what the fuck is a Xiao Chi? Like, what the fuck is a Xiao Chi? Straight up. Like, what in the fuck? Or, yo, Jade Erudition. Jade is quantum. Whoa, Teggy, I didn't know you streamed this late. Oh, I usually don't. I'm just streaming for the boys. People were, dude, dude, the amount of people that supported my variety stream today, man. Like, holy fuck. You're, you're goddamn right I'm gonna fucking go live, bro. That shit was insane. Another HSRW? Oh, yeah, I need to react to that shit tomorrow. Zhao Chi, streakers are out in full. Zhao Chi is crack, sustained pale. That sounds insane. That sounds fucking insane. Five-star character selector, Wu-Wah. Yeah, I heard about that shit, too. I wonder if that shit was actually a leak. Here to link? Here to link to what? So you're going to sing Boot Hill's theme song? <laughs> oh, gosh. Can you imagine? What did I get? What did I get? Oh. 
It's actually a good piece. If it rolls right. He's bouncing on my booty cheeks. I love the way he rides. I can hardly breathe when he's pumping deep inside. Bouncing out and eat out and I'm bouncing on my bussy. Da, 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 oh man, that boy's so damn good looking. Uh, all right, boys. I'm out. Uh, I'm going to go chill with the people on the Discord. Uh, if y'all want to play League or something, hit me up. Uh, I legit play League or something. I legit just went live because I want to be able to raid Mr. Pokey. Go say yo to him. Tell Mr. Pokey I said yo. Tell him, tell them, tell him that Tectone went live just so he could raid you. Let him know. Let him know I only went live. That way I could raid him right now. All right. Or you don't have to go over there. I don't give a fuck. But just let him let him know. All right, I'm out. I'll see y'all tomorrow morning. Okay. Take it easy. Uh, if y'all want to chill on the Discord, discord.gg Fortress Tectone. I'm going in there right now to play games. So if you guys want to play some shit or just chill, I'll be there. All right. Peace, boys. I'm out.